green is a prime color of the nature and that from which its loveliness arises. Environment is a fountain of life which is made up of all life forms and surrounding. Human activities are the major cause of environmental degradation because art provides enough to satisfy every man's need but not every man's greed. We harmed or harming uh, environment in different ways and methods. So we cannot reverse the effect of our action, but we can do something to improve them. So, our, so we are going to show you our school effort against the environmental issues. Firstly, installation of solar panels. As a renewable source of power, solar energy has an important role in reducing greenhouse gases emission and imitating climate change, which is essential to protect humans, wildlife and ecosystem. Solar energy can also improve air quality and reduce water use for energy production. It also requires less land and places less strain on the surrounding environment. Replacing our current power sources with the solar would free up land and reduce the impact of energy production on our planet. Secondly, by making natural compost. Firstly, we segregate the biodegradable wastes like leaves, dead flowers, waste food, then they are converted into manure by burying them in compost pits. The manure generated is in turn used in garden inside our school. This is a process of natural recycling. Compost reduce and in some time cases eliminate uh, the need for chemical fertilizers. Use of twin bins. We segregate waste using these dust bins. Green color dust bins are meant for the wet and biodegradable waste and blue dustbin are meant for the dispose of plastic wrappers and non biodegradable waste. Pollution of air and water can be considerable reduced when hygienous waste is separated and treated separately. Rainwater harvesting Rainwater harvesting is a simple strategy by which rainfall is gathered and stored for future use. This helps in reduce water bills, ecological benefit, reduce erosion and flooding around buildings and adequate mean for the irrigation purpose, reduce demand on groundwater. All these methods are the part of sustainable development, the development that meets the need of present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. And out of 17 goals of sustainable development adopted by United Nations General Assembly in 2015, in our school levels we are able to fulfill three of them, that is affordable and clean energy, clean water and sanitation, good health and well-being. That's why we need to understand, nature doesn't need people, people need nature. So, look after the environment, and environment will look after you. Destroy the environment, and it will destroy you.